celebrating our young artists. Artwork for the second annual Beaufort County High School Regional Art Competition is now on display at the University of South Carolina Beaufort's Center for the Arts. The gallery is filled with paintings, digital art, photography, and more. Students from all six district high schools, as well as students from two private schools in the area, submitted pieces for the exhibit. The artwork is truly magnificent. You will see wonderful works in charcoal. You'll see pastels. You will see ceramics. They're just a tremendous amount of artwork. It's a great way to spend your day viewing the artwork from our local artists. The exhibit was juried by internationally recognized artists and overall seven awards were given out. The best in show winner is from Bluffton High School for this piece. I made a charcoal still life. Finding out that I won the best in show it made me feel really happy to know that my work was recognized as you know this really good piece and I guess I was really grateful for the opportunity to be able to share my work. The two sponsors of the art show also give out awards. The Coastal Discovery Museum's first place award was presented to a Beaufort High School student. And the USCB first place award was won by a student from Bluffton High. I just took a picture of my friend Jamar in the classroom and I just wanted to experiment with hyperrealism because normally I do realism. So I wanted to add pores, hair details and all that. So I worked on it for about mm, a month and a half. My piece was sort of a collection of two pieces in one. The first piece on the top was a drawing of me holding a teddy bear and then on the bottom it was a hand sort of like dropping the teddy bear and it was sort of meant to convey like growing up and like sort of that affection that we had for you know our toys and our teddy bears. The high school regional art exhibit will be on display through April 2nd at the USCB Center for the Arts in downtown Beaufort. For the Beaufort County School District, Ron Lopes.